Welcome everybody to Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we have X-Wing 2.0. Second edition just released, so we thought we'd do a video on it using a couple of the pre-made lists that the game has. Let's take a look. On the Rebel side, we have two X-Wings and a Y-Wing. They are flown by Luke Skywalker, Wedge Antilles, and Nora Wexley. You probably know Luke and Wedge, and Nora is a pilot from the book series Aftermath, which happens after the original series. Let's take a closer look at these ships. Luke comes with his trusty droid R2-D2, and he has instinctive aim, proton torpedoes, and of course the S-foils. Wedge also comes with S-foils, as well as outmaneuver, and an R4 astromech. And finally, Nora comes with seismic charges, proton torpedoes, an ion cannon, and has expert handling. Over on the Imperial side, we have Darth Vader and a swarm of TIE Fighters. This seems appropriate enough. Let's look at their stats. Vader has Sense, which allows him to use the Force to look at another pilot's dial, cluster missiles, and a fire control system which will allow him to hold onto his target lock even when he re-rolls one die. This is a great choice for a pilot who only has two dice, since they're really only going to re-roll one die anyway. All four TIE Fighters are common Black Squadron pilots with Crack Shot. This ability takes away a dodge from the Defender if they're in the TIE Fighter's crosshairs. Okay, let's get this battle started! Both sides set up in opposing corners, with the Rebels being further toward the center than the Imperials. They also seem to have a bit more of a gap in the asteroids ahead of them. The TIE Swarm is hugging the edge with Vader further out, and the Rebels have their X-Wings on the flanks and the Y-Wing in the center. Here we go! Both sides have started by moving quickly forward. Luke is pushing out ahead a little more than his wingmen. Wedge turns into the inside while Luke and Nora fly into the gap. Luke turning wide toward his father and almost hitting Nora. Vader and Wedge have locked onto one another, and they fire! The Rebels concentrate everything on Vader while the Imperials concentrate all of their fire on Wedge. Luke uses a proton torpedo in the attack, and Vader is severely damaged. He's lost all of his shields and gets a critical, which is a panicked pilot. How anyone can cause Vader to panic is beyond me, but it might be because Nora got him with the ion cannon. Vader could have used his force points to turn focuses into dodges, but he didn't roll any focuses in those attacks. It was either a straight up dodge or nothing. This is a severe hit to Vader and the Imperials. Wedge has also been badly damaged, losing all of his shields and taking one damage. But he has more hull points than Vader, so he might be okay despite the TIE Swarm coming at him. Now Wedge does a Talon Roll, which puts him directly behind the Ionized Vader! He fires! He hits! That is it for Darth Vader! He is already out of this game! It doesn't look like Wedge is long for this world as he has a horde of TIE Fighters behind him. But Luke and Nora fire to thin out the horde. However, they don't destroy them. They fire at Wedge and bring him down to one hull point remaining. But he's still up! The TIE split up to go after the Rebels. Wedge has turned around to help Luke fire at the one pursuing them, and he takes it out, and I don't mean to dinner. Nora has also ionized another TIE Fighter. They return fire, doing some damage to Nora, but nothing to Luke, who is able to use the eye tokens that eluded his father. Going on to the next turn, Nora drops one of her seismic bombs, blowing up the asteroids, which damage the nearby TIE Fighter. She meanwhile dodges an asteroid she overlapped, and Wedge makes a break for it, turning to get out of the melee while Luke turns to take on the TIEs. Everyone fires! Wedge would be destroyed, but his dodge token saves him. One of his ties uses its crack shot on Nora, damaging her. Everyone keeps moving, and a tie has gotten directly onto Wedge's tail. This might be it for our hero pilot. Wedge closes his S-foils and gets a little bit of a boost, but it's not enough. He might be taken down by the tie. But Luke fires first, and he takes out the pursuing tie fighter. And I still don't mean to dinner. Then Nora ionizes the one on Luke. That is some solid teamwork right there. Despite being ionized, he's able to get off a shot, and he takes down Luke's shields. Both X-Wings are damaged badly, but Luke stays in the fight, turning himself directly around while Wedge works his way back into the fight. Luke and Nora fire, and they take out the last two TIE Fighters simultaneously! What a dramatic conclusion! The Rebels have won this without taking a single loss. But let's face it, this happened because all the points were put into Vader, who was taken out right away. He's definitely stronger than he was in 1st edition, and he's a real badass in this game with the new force rules. But in order to use them, you have to roll focus results, and they just didn't come up. It also didn't help that he flew right down the middle of the table. But that's a different discussion for a different day. For now, we're hoping you enjoyed this video, and that you'll subscribe to come back for more. Happy gaming, everybody! Did you like this video? Did you feel like the players should have done something different? thumb us and tell us your thoughts in the comments below. You'll also find links to various things in the description, including a Star Wars-like sci-fi book that just came out. Don't forget to subscribe, and happy gaming everybody!